you guys, it is Mary and Amma. We want you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Yesterday, we are reviewing season eight, episode one of Sister Wives. We are getting right into it. We have <laughs> eight like more halfway, seasons, right? After this season, we are halfway. <laughs> yes, eight more seasons, then we are done. Yes. Hopefully, yes. Um, but yes, we're getting right into it, you guys. This time, it was really all about the older kids, mm -hmm. and I think it was really interesting that Miss Kelsey she went to go see another designer again. I know. And Cody's hopes and dreams for her is that she brings class to fashion designing. Right, because he said there's very shady characters in fashion. Yeah, which is very true. The fashion industry is a very <laughs> cutthroat in industry. It's not your friend. Yeah. Um, you have to have a really thick skin for it, yeah. you know. But I think that McKelsey will be just fine. I yeah. wonder if he's talking about her doing modest wear or if... Yeah, I think so. Um, that and probably the lifestyles, you know. Yeah, probably. And stuff. You have a lot of um, LGBTQ, I think, in fashion. Yeah. In that particular arena. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, and yes, they are also in, you know, other places of entertainment. But I think in terms of things that people go to school for, that's one of the industry that they are in a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's what also he's talking about, just people with different beliefs than ours. And um, so he's hoping that she kind of sticks to the tenets of their faith. As she's do, you know, going in this world. You know, I think that the whole thing with the industry, like, um, I think you have to kind of find your niche. You have to find what's good for yeah. you. It didn't. It took me a what while. You're passionate but, about. Yeah, exactly. You have to go for that. You know, because yeah. she might be like into polygamy and modest wear or whatever growing up, but then that she and might not want not to do that. Into polygamy. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which I mean, but polygamy doesn't really have anything to do with fashion. I mean, honestly, I think yeah. if anything, it'll have to do maybe with the modesty and the values or whatever. I guess. And she wants to move to New York, far away from the family, one day. <laughs> so my Kelty, I, really... I don't know if that's what she wants to do. Like what Cody say, like yeah. you know, modest wear or whatever women it, covered. But you have to really. You know, I feel like it took me a while before I, I even decided to do modest fashion. I was doing every other type of fabric, fashion but modest fashion mm -hmm. for the longest time. But I feel like I had to find what was special and unique to me. And yeah. I felt like what was special to me was who I was and what my upbringing was. Yeah. And that's how I found my niche. Yeah. Um, but I feel like McKelsey, she's going to figure it out and everything, yeah. stuff like that. But, you know, really Cody good. should not try to impose or anything. Let her find her way. Yeah. And stuff well, like that. Well, the designer was saying that from her designs... He felt like they were more of like Disney World, princess ballroom kind of dresses that she had. But he said at the end of the day, designs need to sell. Yeah. They need to sell. It's not just about what you love to do. Is you have to create designs under your passion, but have them sell. Yeah, but also she's very um, early in this. Like, I mean, I saw some of her illustrations, and a lot of my illustrations look like that in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but absolutely. then you get better and stuff like that, and your style exactly. evolves and changes. Exactly. So, but that's how she most, has time. Yeah, she has plenty of time and everything. Yeah. So they have um, Dayton, Robin's oldest son, oldest child. Yeah, oldest son. Yeah. He has to have surgery. You know how his eye droops. I was thinking it's because of the Asperger's. That's what I, I was thought. thinking too. But apparently it's not. He was involved in an ATV accident. And that's what caused this lower eyelid to just droop. Wow. And so they're going to do surgery to raise it up so that when he looks at you, he's not looking at you with one eye closed. It will be, his eyes will be open and looking at you. Well, so, that's a blessing. Yeah. So, uh, but it was successful. He came back and it was like all like swollen. But he was, was Cody there like for the surgery? You know, I think he did go. Yeah. Really I Cody. Yeah, yeah, I think I think he did. He was there, you know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know he was there for truly too though. <laughs> no, but well, I'm just saying, you know, Isabella, he didn't go to hers. But that was oh, yeah, that season was after. much later, right? It was season sixteen. Yeah. But yeah, so it's also Father's Day and Maddie is leaving as well. Yeah. She's going to university what is university no, Utah State University. University. Yeah. yeah. Utah State University. And um, so she's going to be going and she's like, she's packing all these things because she has no intention of returning home. But that's what she said. 
Yeah. So, oh, Maddie? Maddie, yes. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like Maddie, she has always been very outspoken that she does not want to be part of polygamy. Yeah. But my thing is, I wonder why the kids are so like, no, I don't want to be a part of polygamy. Because mm. I find it very interesting. Well, I feel like there's other stuff going on that we don't really see or know you about. You know, I think that a lot of... Um, I have known, you know, plural families when I was growing up and a polygamous families. And the children, I don't think I've ever met a child who came from a polygamous family that went into polygamy. You know, you have told me that before, <laughs> So, I have not, I really haven't. I have known quite a bit and I have never seen one, a child, they come from families of 20 plus, 30 plus, even in the teens, they do not go into that polygamous lifestyle. They hated it. They didn't like it. They felt like um, their mother was not, you know, equally treated. They felt like though there was always a favorite wife or something. Mm. And both the men and women, both genders, did not go for polygamy when they got older. Well, you know, this is so, my theory. I feel like the reason why maybe they don't want to go is one... Because they already can see that there are favorites there. Yes. Two, I feel like because you have so many kids, it's really hard for you to get your needs met. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then Absolutely. also, if you are an older child, yeah. like you see a lot of the As drama and trauma that kind of happens Absolutely. with the family. Like I'm mm -hmm. sure, you know, some of Christine's daughter has daughters have seen her when she's crying or she's sad or she's upset yeah. with Cody yeah. or whatever the case may be. And, and they talk about her. that in another episode. They will address that. Christine will address the fact that Cody has relationships with his sons um, not as much with his daughters you see so also that's the thing yeah. I feel like there's some like disconnect because also you don't really have as much time with the father as you would if yeah. it was just one you know uh, only a select amount of kids yeah. I mean like, I feel like the most I have seen a monogamous family have is like the Duggars they have like what 20 kids yeah they have 20 but one is adopted yeah yeah, but <laughs> they have nineteen kids and one is yeah. Adopted. One but is I like, feel like the niece's son, something like that. Yeah, I mean, but even though they have a lot of kids, I feel like it's not the father having to be stretched in several different families. Mm -hmm. This is all his one immediate family. Exactly. This is his one wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I feel like some of those kids get older. You're like able to those, other things that, that dynamic is not there. Of you're going to these four different households. Yeah, you know, these four different women. You know, yeah. yeah, so it's different. It's really so, it's different. I'm sure they sometimes they felt like they didn't get the attention they needed, or sometimes they were overlooked or overshadowed or yeah. whatever. Because I just see the way Cody be holding on to Solomon like he is this precious gem, which I'm yeah. sure he is, yeah. but truly, I, yeah, also we, was there. You see, we have been watching it since truly was born, right? And we did not see him holding truly like this at all. No, Solomon, but now you is see, that's what Christy two. be talking about with the whole. <laughs> You know. You're holding the son, but not holding your daughter who was just born. Mm -hmm. And you say that you can't relate to them. I think it's a crock of bull crap. Yeah. You've had daughters all this time. Yeah. You have women in your family. Yeah. You have four wives. How are you not getting along with your daughters and when you have four is, wives? And truly is young. Very yeah. young. So I don't know how you don't get along with her. But I feel like with Cody, when he's on the outs with one of the wives, the, kids the children suffer. Exactly. You know that's how I feel with Cody. But that's what happened because, with Isabella. Mm, it's even sixteen. Isabella, yes. And the, the thing is, um, even uh, when he, you know, later on when they took Mariah to school, he was like, "Oh, he's gonna miss Maddie," and he was hugging her, and he was like, "My biggest regret is that I didn't relish the time when she was younger with her," you know. And Maddie was just ready for them to get out of her Like, out goodbye, of her apartment. thank you very much yeah. for the trauma. <laughs> no, let me stop. But you know what I was thinking as he was doing all of that? I said, Mariah also came to Utah. And I do understand that, um, you know, when, when she was going, truly got ill and was in the hospital. But I never saw him go back there, did y'all? I didn't see him go back there. Just say, I'm going to drive to go see Mariah. Yeah. I didn't see her off. He never did. And he, it's as if she's not here. She doesn't exist. And I have already talked about it. Well, you know he don't really like Mary. I'm pretty, you know, and I, because somebody said that they actually put these seasons out, I think 2006, 7, 
9, 12, and 14 or whatever. Okay. So it hasn't really been like every single year yeah, they've put okay. out a season. So I do believe by season, I think after that season of um, Mary saying that she, well, Cody telling her we ain't having no more kids, mm -hmm. I think that's when the sex ended. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I actually believe. Yeah, that was season six. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? He made season sure eight. that we will not have another child because it looks like you want to have another child. And she's been going downhill ever since. Ever since. Well, mentally. <laughs> ever since she has. And it'll, it'll reach a crescendo soon. Yeah. But um, what else was uh, on this thing? Oh, my thing keeps on moving. But it was something else that I wanted to address. Oh, Robin and Cody go to the secondhand store to go drop some of their stuff there. And yeah. it's run by this lady. And uh, she was saying to them, she's like, oh man, I really need to have my picture up on the wall. And she was pointing at their picture with the four sister wives and Cody. And Cody was like, no more sister wives. We are not having any more sister wives. We're done. And she's like, oh no, 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 no. I need to be in that picture instead of you. You need to come out of the picture. I need to be right there. She's a lesbian, she said. And she has wives. <laughs> oh, so she's a polygamist. So Cody was like, Cody says, she's always teasing me, but um, I don't know if she has wives. I have, I, I, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't want to go there. I was like, okay. <laughs> I wonder what Robin said. Uh, oh, she was laughing the whole time. And they were both looking at each other. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> not that I, I'm not accusing Robin of anything, but yeah, that was just interesting. Um, yeah, but that I think that was. But also, they um, wanted to do something. Was it they went to have other people? Other people wanted to be a part of the sister wives' closet or whatever. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. Robin denied them. Right, um, because she said that she doesn't want just anyone just bringing things and putting it. As part of their, you know, selling clothing under the Sister Wives brand or something. She just wants it to be what they sell. Which, know, I mean, makes stuff. sense. But yeah. also, you know, this is her business. This is her livelihood. So in case any shit hits the fan oh, with yeah. Cody, yeah. she at least has a Sister Wives closet. Mm. And he did say that she yeah, was a CFO or the CEO. Yeah, and it, yeah, Janelle was not having that. She's like, what finances is Robin doing? Oh, well, she has the receipt. That's not finance. That's not CFO work. Janelle is hilarious. I actually love Janelle. <laughs> well, not after what we found out, though. Well, I mean, at this point, I personally feel like, Mary, you should have had a backbone and told Cody, Cody, no. I do not want Janelle. If you decide to go forward with this, your ass is going to be divorced. Two, okay? You want to make that mistake? That's she's, fine. She's been my friend for two years before she met you. I think that's why, though. But I, I that's personally, why I feel you don't like, talk to your friend about your man. But Let's then who see. do you talk to? Uh, talk to yourself and God. Or your <laughs> sister, family members. That's it. Well, you know, it's like... You never know who is listening and trying to... Especially if the stories are so nice. Yeah. Let me tell you. Something like that happened to me. I dated this guy. Actually, we were friends, right? I never was interested in him. But we got to sophomore in college and he was just like all about me. He wanted to take me out and blah, 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 blah. He wasn't really my type because one, at that time I only dated guys who were older than me, who either were no longer in college, you know. Um, How much but, older? But he was not that much older, but just, I, I really wasn't dating college guys like that. They ain't really about but, shit. Not to tell you that from a college student yeah, I wasn't who's now dating. graduate. <laughs> I wasn't going to date college guys in grad, or I was dating people who were in grad school or stuff like that. But anyway, this guy was undergrad like myself. He was also a sophomore. And so we went out and it was wonderful. It was, he told me, dress up, I'm taking you to somewhere fancy. And we kind of, my sister lived in Virginia and he lived close to where my sister lived. Okay. So it was easy for him to come pick me up. He picked me up in this fancy car, took me to this really expensive restaurant. They had like a little ballroom 
at, on the top floor, and that's where we were having our food, looking down on the other people there. So he really went out. And then after that, we danced, and he tipped me back. First of all, he bought roses when he came to meet me and all that. So everything was, it was very romantic, very nice. One of the really nicest dates I've had, one of them. So it was really nice. So I get home, I call my friend, okay, who was my best friend at the time, and I am telling her all about this guy, how great it was, and blase, 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 we were giggling and whatever. She's like, so you like him now? And I'm like, well, you know, I, I could see myself liking him, you know. And then she was like, so she was listening, all raptured at my talk and everything like that. And she's like, but you guys like together? I said, no, no, you know, I mean, I'm still thinking about it. You know. Anyway, before I could blink, that girl went out on a date, just started making moves on him. Yes. Before, she was never interested in him. He's too proper for her and all this stuff. She, all of a sudden, she's like, <laughs> I went out with so-and-so. <laughs> I said, oh, where did you go? He took me out for tennis. <laughs> are you sure you're not, I mean, are you mad? Really, I, I was not feeling the guy like that. It was a very romantic date, but I wasn't feeling, so I was like, Hey, you know, if you really like me, you want to go for him, you go ahead, though. You do you. And she went ahead. But, so she, they went on another date after the tennis. They went out on another date because she really wanted to have the dinner, the dancing, whatever I had told her she wanted that. Okay. So the tennis wasn't in, enough for her, you know. Okay. But when she realized, and then after that, actually, I started dating somebody else. Um who was better looking, had more money, and <laughs> actually had already graduated from school, from college. But um, that's why we dated. And had a man. better, and I had a more better car. <laughs> so, but this time I remember, and this particular guy I actually liked. This was my type, and I remembered this little half a. And I did not tell her about my business. Yeah. No, no, no. So, yes. But did she ever get the date and the dinner that oh, she wanted? Oh, oh, oh. She did. But guess what? After she did, and she realized I was impressed about it, and I had moved on to better pastures, she lost interest. And I learned that lesson at a young 20-something age. Do not tell um, your friends about any dates or whatever going on in your relationship. How about that? Big facts. <laughs> oh, yes. Anywho, yeah, Janelle. So that's why I'm, I got my one eye on Janelle. Like, I liked her too, but then I got my one eye on Janelle. Yeah. I mean, I still like Janelle, but I feel like, you know, Mary, this <laughs> is a wrong. polygamous relationship. I'm sorry. You that really was have, it you was wrong. To your friends. It was wrong. But Mary, also, you have just allowed this man to walk all over you. So you have got to have cojones. And she knew and how she Mary was. She him. knew that Mary was passive. That's why she did that mess. Who yeah. does that? Janelle. Yeah. Mm. Anywho. But that is it, you guys. It is Mary. And I'm a, Leave a like. Subscribe. Share. And comment down below.